The purpose of this video is to explain a common error that I often see at either existing homes or new job sites. So let me explain about the gas meter and the sizing for generators or pool heaters. So when I turned up to this job in the woodlands, I saw a generator connected to this gas meter. And this is a very important signal for me. It took me a while to understand how it works and what the code is many years ago, but it's very familiar to me now. And this is an error connected, connecting a generator to a meter with this size regulator. Now this is a regulator and it's a half pound regulator. And how I know is that the knob at the end is white and not red. Whenever I see a red tip at the end of a regulator, I know it's a high pressure um, line. So this is a low pressure, the white, the red is the high pressure. The difference is in the poundage. The pounds for the house is a half pound system and it's low pressure and it's all it needs for a house. The um, high pressure is a two pound and that's to run pretty much everything else, pool heater, external, externally that is, pool heater, generator, et cetera, et cetera. A two pound regulator with the red tip will run just about everything that you need for the external um, appliances or functions for the um, home. So let's take a look at what I saw. So this is a generator. This is a 24 kW and it has by code has to have its own regulator on the gas line to the generator. This is a code that's enforced by Centerpoint and Entergy. This is what happened after I talked to the homeowner and explained that the gas requirements that they need for the heater and generator need to come off. What I explained earlier is on the high pressure side and that's exactly what this regulator is. It's very easy to identify because it has a red knob on the end. So the gas line being high pressure comes up through the gas meter. It continues to be a high pressure system and then it feeds off to the generator and we happen to have plumbed the gas heater on this side of the line. What goes into the house, then you see here, this is the actual, um, it's, it's not a white tip, but you see a silver tip, um, the half pound low pressure side regulator to, for the inside of the house. At the gas heater, we also need to install a regulator, which again is to code, but that doesn't alter the two pound regulator high pressure side at the meter. So I'm going to talk about a chart in a moment, but let me go back to my earlier example. Um, another common error is custom builders will run a single line through the house and then off that single line, what they will end up doing is they will branch it off and then tee it off, do a drop on the other side of the house, say, for example, where the pool heater and the generator will be. But the problem with that is that um, Centerpoint will only install a half pound regulator onto that meter. They will not put a, a high pressure regulator on the meter. And so what happens is, as you can already understand where I'm heading, is the generator and the pool heater cannot run because they will be starved of gas. So let's now look at the gas requirements for the generator. And I'm working here on basically just on natural gas. I'm not interested in propane. And the full consumption, full load natural gas is 306K which is 306,000 BTUs. I'm just going to call everything K because it's going to be easier to do the numbers here. It gets a little confusing otherwise. So looking at my um, calculations, the first thing I'm going to do is basically look at what I need and go down and look at the chart. So my calculations are the generator takes 308K, the fire pit 350. I'm giving an example of a job here and 160 for fire pots and 400 for the pool heater. So my total BTUs in thousands is one, um, uh, well, it's actually 1,218. 
the, from the chart, we can see that basically what I need is I need, if I'm running 200 to 250 feet, I'm going to want to sort of make sure I have plenty of gas. I'm aiming for one and a quarter inches because if I step it down to one inch, I'm too close to what I need. Go back to what I need and then look at the chart. So uh, sizing it up a quarter inch gets me a lot more gas than I need. And that's typically where I want to aim. This um, chart is a chart based on the high pressure system with also a pressure drop. We can see two pounds high pressure system. So again, it's a very easy ID to understand. Center point will only run the high pressure lines for the generator and the pool heater outside. It needs to be branched off separately. It will come off its own um, uh, regulator of two pounds with the red tip. And then the half pound will be for all of the house appliances. So I hope that clears things up. And if the generator is not upgraded, it needs to be upgraded to have the two pound regulator, which is typically done by Centerpoint only after the installation and completion of exterior projects. So once the city, if it's a permitted job, or even if it's not a permitted job, everything needs to be finished before Centerpoint will come out and upgrade the regulator. They don't upgrade the meter, they just upgrade the regulator and repipe the, um, the fittings. Sometimes they will reconnect to the gas lines the external gas line. Sometimes they will not. They will require that the plumber comes back and reconnect. So you'll need to just see it's a case by case basis as to what center point does. But that's my experience and knowledge to help you, to guide you, and to help you understand why you should do certain things and what should be done regarding the gas meter and the sizing.